So guys, welcome back to the channel. Touching down from the Mei Ka Canal in Chiang Mai City, Northern Thailand. Today is another down day. Another, well, the down day's finished, but we're gonna talk about something that I seen and was not very nice. So we're gonna take a walk down and we're just gonna have a short chat on this vlog. So we're at the canal and we're just gonna walk down the road here. So they've done a lot, done a lot of stuff here now that you gotta pay 40 baht to park your car to take a walk down the canal. I've parked out here, look. Lucille parked her out. So something's been on my mind for the past week, something that I've seen, and I can't shake it off, man. I cannot shake it off. All, all adverts and and gains are off for this video again guys any any down video i do or something that's not in the in the norm for the vlogs that i do i don't want to gain nothing from them so i was coming down here about a week ago down this road on lucille like i do a lot of times yeah, I took a left here that goes into goes into Night Bazaar. So we're gonna gonna walk down that way in a minute. It's always a pleasant a pleasant road. This one for me, it's never a road that I think is dangerous or anything. It can be if you haven't got your wits about you, but it's not one of my most feared roads. Let's just say that even though it's pretty busy today so let's cross over i'm not normally walking walking down this way it's about a week ago i was driving down here i took a left which goes into town like i said and i was going along this road here <laughs> coming down here like i normally do and i seen this woman walking in the middle of the road it was about it was a peak time so there was a lot of traffic she was walking in the road right down here near this restaurant with kids and when i was driving up here i thought god man that is dangerous what is she doing and you know as i drove past i looked at her i didn't say nothing and i thought man what is she doing in the middle of the road right here so this is where this is where it was about here so I went past her and then I heard a massive, a massive bang, um, screams, shouting, uh, metal hitting the floor. And the guy that was coming behind me hit, hit the children. They was out here in the middle of the road and the bike went right into them. So as I just passed, I pulled over in the temple down here. I quickly pulled over the bike and parked down here. Oh, got music playing. So I parked down in this Chinese temple right here. And I run back, it was about here. It was about here where the accident happened. And yeah, I was greeted with crying kids. Kids with um, deep wounds what they called skids like that skid damage on your arms um, i've had it myself and it hurts man and yeah the kids were crying the mum was still standing in the middle of the road i'm not sure if it was the mum and the two guys on the motorbike they were they were on the deck still in pain yeah all these people in this restaurant come rushing out well they didn't rush out it's normal here we're going to come on to that in a minute they came out and people started helping picking people up um, all I was all my focus was on the kids I can't even remember how bad the guys on the scooter was that hit them the kids were screaming and I was just like oh shh, shh, shh. okay 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 and now I can't speak no Thai really and everybody was speaking Thai and i had done my best um, later on that night I thought I should have stayed maybe i should have stayed and helped more you know and it's been in my mind ever since them kids 
crying kids, wounds all up her arm. She was only like five or six years old and yeah, broke my heart, man. It's just going over my head that I hope they're okay and nobody actually died. I was um, looking at on the new sites because it would be probably on a new site if anything happened, but I couldn't find nothing. And hopefully it's just some wounds and maybe a few broken bones. But all week I was thinking, maybe I should have stayed, maybe I should have done more. And you know what's been going through my head this last week? You know the napalm girl, the famous picture in the Vietnam War? That's what's been going through my head. The little girl that was crying just reminded me of that. She didn't have burns like that. She had a big, she had a big gash down her arm and I've just been thinking of that, you know? And yeah, I can't shake it off, guys. I can't shake it off. It was right here. So luckily, all these Thai people came, came running out and helped them. Natural reactions take over, doesn't it? I quickly pulled the bike over. I didn't know who was behind me. I could have been in an accident myself. I don't think I even indicated. I just pulled over quickly and went running back, but yeah when i've mentioned it to my thai friends here they're like oh yeah yeah okay it happens every day here and for me i can't shake it off i cannot shake it off you know it's affecting me riding the bike just seeing that girl that little girl crying with them burns on her arm and it's so normal here isn't it when i tell my friend at the um the drink store I get my green tea and that. She's just like, oh yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, every day here, normal. And yeah, it's not, it's not normal for me. It's not really normal. All the time I've been here, I've seen accidents, but I've never seen one like that with kids involved. So I don't know what the lady was doing in the middle of the road. I'm not sure if she was high on something or I'm not saying that because I don't know. But there is a lot of people like that around at the minute, guys. Chiang Mai, there's quite a few space cadets walking around. But she did look like a, you know, she was looking after the kids well. She was in the middle of the road. That's one thing that's still baffled me, really. I don't know what she was doing walking in the middle of the road. So I just wanted to keep this one short and just just say how I'm feeling, you know? I don't... It's been on my mind all week and I wanted to... My channel's all about my life ups and downs. And yeah, boy, it's affected me. I just keep picturing that girl crying. And I, I wish I stayed longer. I wish I stayed and just made sure everybody was all right and just waited there until they cleaned it up. Once I knew everybody was, nobody was in a really bad state, I thought, right, it's time to get on your way. But looking back, I wish I stayed right to the end. Yeah, so it's just, it's just a friendly reminder of what happens here as well, isn't it? You just, sometimes you get carried away here and little kids are on bikes all the time as well motorbikes with their mums with their dads and stuff like this happens every day you don't see it every day if you're lucky enough but it does happen and it's just another it's another thing for a westerner to to deal with when i suppose you don't know how you're gonna re react do you when you see something like this you don't to the locals there's probably a bit more easier than where I'm from anyway. Where I'm from, of course we have accidents, but just how raw it is here and how people just come casually out at a restaurant and just looking around before they do anything with kids screaming and cuts everywhere and probably broken bones. Um, it's, just, it's just how the culture is, isn't it? So yeah, it's just been on my mind. I'll get over it. But it's something that hurts, man. 
it hurts and it, it's not nice to see. It's made me be extra careful again on the bike because you don't want to be that person getting in a crash or taking somebody else out. And another thing, you need to have eyes on the road all the time. There's people walking in the roads, walking on the side of sidewalks, hanging over the side, kids running about, and it's another thing to be extra, extra careful. So, yeah, I just wanted to do this vlog to say my feelings on it, and I'm hoping all the families and the little kids are okay. I'm sure they are bandaged up a few weeks off of school, and yeah, so I'm gonna leave it there, guys. So I'm gonna check out from the May Car Canal. It's a bit overcast again. There might be some rain on the way. So I'm going to stop waffling. Hope you're all safe and sound as always, guys. And I will see you in the next one. So take it easy, man. Take it easy.